movement project and today I'm going to be discussing posture correctors and whether they work. So I had quite a few patients asking me around about five to six months ago uh, regarding these products and whether they should buy them, whether they would help their current problem. Um, at the same time, I remember when I was just browsing online uh, that these products kept coming up in adverts. So what I did, I typed in posture corrector or maybe posture brace online. Um, then what happened, uh, Amazon came up first. And then when I clicked on Amazon, I looked at all the sort of top products. There was one that really stood out, it had over 2,200 reviews. This was, would, uh, this was called the Monitro Sports Posture Corrector Spinal Support. Uh, this had a average rating of four and a half stars. So while waiting for the product to arrive, I started to, to do some research uh, and see if there was any studies that looked at posture correctors. So one I found looked at uh, 38 healthy athletes um, and these people mainly did overhead sports. So these were things like volleyball, swimming, baseball. Um, I think the study was conducted in America. And what they found was uh, use of a scapular brace might improve shoulder posture and muscle activity in overhead athletes with poor posture. Now, it is a very small study uh, looking at a very particular demographic. Also, the authors do list their results as highly variable. So we can't really draw any hard conclusions for this, um, but it was just quite an interesting study. So because there wasn't many studies that looked at posture correctors specifically, I started looking at other areas of the body to see if this sort of bracing has worked in other areas. So one that came to mind was the lower back. Um, you've probably seen products like lumbar belts uh, or lumbar supports. Um, most of the research when I looked at this area found that um, these supports weren't a good preventer of back pain or they weren't a good um, or they didn't help with muscle activation. So muscle activation is good because this is how our body maintains posture. So muscle activation is a good thing, so we want this. So looking higher into the body, so into the neck was the next place I looked. You probably remember back in the 80s and 90s, everyone was wearing those soft collars, and especially after whiplash injuries. And I wanted to see what whether these seem to be effective. As we all pretty much know that they've you know, fallen out of favour now, and this was because most of the research, uh, or pretty much all the research, suggests that these aren't effective. One study I found actually um, in people with no symptoms, so they were asymptomatic, found that they lost range of motion of their neck up to 39%. So these are really not good. Um, once again, maybe indicating posture correctors might not be effective. So another study I looked at was um, one that compared soft collars to exercise rehabilitation in people who have suffered whiplash injuries. Now, so the first, what they did, the first part um, they looked at was the soft collar versus no intervention. And they found that there was no difference in recovery time. And then they looked at um, exercise rehabilitation versus once again, no intervention. And the exercise re rehabilitation group has significant results. So what they said was the exercise uh, therapy is superior to the collar therapy in reducing pain intensity and disability for whiplash injuries. So objectively, I guess we can't say whether uh, we know posture correctors are effective or not. Although when looking at other areas of the body, so the neck and the lower back, they don't seem to provide much benefit. Actually, in some cases, they can cause actually more problems. So when looking for a little bit more information about these spinal correctors, um, I did come across a website called perfectposture.co.uk. Um, they sell a lot of these products and on one of their pages about posture correctors, they had a paragraph that said, putting the posture brace on for 30 minutes a day will apply a little tension to your muscles and this helps in improving your muscle memory and your structure to the right posture. You could uh, see good results within two weeks. Apart from that, your neck and shoulder pain gets decreased by 75%. Now this sounds really, really good. Um, I did email them asking for the links or the source of this information. Unfortunately, I still not heard anything back from them. And so the only thing I would say to people looking for more information regarding these products is to take what sometimes what you read, especially on websites, just with a pinch of salt. Now this may be true what they've said, but um, once again, like I said, I haven't heard anything back from them. Try to always find the source information, go to the research, and then you can draw a little bit more um, hard evidence what you, whether you think this or that, that particular product is effective. 
So as I mentioned before, this product had um, a lot of reviews, so over 2,200. So I started looking through these reviews just to see what people were saying, because to have so many high ratings, it obviously, it obviously has helped a lot of people. Now one I came across said, improvement in our posture and back pain within the first day of wearing them. Now the only thing I would say about this um, is just that you can't really draw much conclusions um, after wearing this product just for a day. So you have to wear it for a little bit longer to see it's actually going to be effective. So another review stated, make sure you only wear for short periods initially because I have pain in my neck after a few days. I hope this is a good sign. And this was a five star review. So what I would say to that person is, yes, before you start um, wearing this for too long, go see your osteopath or go see a physio, just anyone, just to make sure that everything else is set up correctly, like your desk position, um, depending obviously what you do for a living. Um, because it does make sense when you think about if you strap the shoulders in a certain position and you're still slumping, the neck then will get wrenched forward because now the mid-back can't compensate anymore. So I did really try to think about what benefits posture correctors could have. Um, so a few things came to mind. Um, so the first one was a as a demonstration tool. So I can really imagine even myself using this with some of my patients if they're, say, really unaware of their body position. Um, that. If they put this on, they could actually feel what it should feel like to stand in a correct upright position. At the same time, this is only very temporary. And then after that, I would advise them on exercises, stretching, once again, desk advice, because um, this is actually going to help more in the long term. But once again, like I said, as a demonstration tool, I can see a little bit of limited use for it. So one other use I could think about was uh, in regards to people in very acute pain. So people in a lot of pain, maybe their back's gone into spasm. The posture corrector may give a little bit of support, um, but I would say only use it once again for a short period of time. Most of the research suggests that just getting moving, getting mobile is gonna be better at promoting blood flow, which then will help with your recovery. Still not bracing um, is always gonna be the answer. Now, I think a lot of the companies that make these posture correctors have good intentions at heart. A lot of the, um, the, the products actually come with posture guides, ergonomic setup guides and I would advise most of my patients to really focus on these because this is where they are going to get most benefit in the long term. So I'm going to use an analogy um, just to make it a little bit easier um, from where I'm coming from in regards to the, my opinion on these products. I think of it a little bit like um, if you were think of you know astronauts or say if you've ever seen the movie Gravity with Sandra Bullock um, there was a scene right at the end um, when she's been in space for a long period of time and you, know, you may have seen when the, you know, uh, the astronauts from the space station land, they normally get helped out, uh, helped out of the spacecraft, uh, they're in, in a wheelchair and this is because their muscles have become so weak because they've been in weightless environments. Now I have, um, you know, I, I think that the posture correctors are doing a little bit this, a similar thing where they're trying to take gravity out of the equation Unfortunately, because we're all the time we're going to be on Earth, um, that gravity is always going to be there, it's never going to go. So we have to get used to fighting up against gravity and that's the only way that our muscles are going to get stronger. So if you're a person that's looking at these products because you have pain in your upper back, this is just a quick note to say that some of these problems are caused or can be caused by other um, issues in other parts of the body. So a really common one I see is pelvic problems. So this can be um, weakness or tightness in the hips from sitting too long. Um, so sometimes actually getting these areas looked at or getting your overall posture looked at, so then you know that if I stretch my hips out, say, that this can then affect my upper back, which then fixes that issue. Sometimes it's not always good just to go to the source of the pain. Um, sometimes the source of the pain is the area that um, is taking more strain as a result of somewhere else not working properly. So to make sure that your daily commute to work doesn't end up like when Sandra Bullock was pulling herself out of that capsule um, along that beach, just get out, get moving, challenge your body, get it stronger. This can be you know, simple things like doing just walking, swimming, it could be doing some weights. Um, that's what's actually going to really improve your posture in the long term products you want me to review in the future, please put them in the uh, comments section below. Thanks very much for watching. <music>